morning students today we will discuss about indexing now indexing usually we will see in our daily routine in a textbooks in a textbook if i want to search any concept i will not go through the entire textbook if i want to search f3 enough third normalization third normal form any concept or bc enough if i want to i have opened the dbms textbook and if i want to read about 2nf second normal form if i want to study first i will go through the index file in index i will see various second normal form in second normal form the corresponding page number will be given so i will go to the textbook in with the corresponding page number then i will read about the second normal form so the indexing will be useful for us to have the searching in a better way so if i have a file which is the main file the file is consists of a collection of records all the records are stored in some blocks let's tell that this is block number 1 this is block number 2 block number 3 so on if i have n blocks okay i have a file which is a collection of records this is record 1 so many records are there and we have n number of blocks are there so if i want to search a particular record okay if i want to search for a particular record i have to access the entire file where is the particular record is there instead of that one if i create a one file called index file okay if i create an index file the index file the size of the index file usually less than the data file okay please remember this point usually the size of the index file will be less than the data file if you see in our textbook also usually index will be 3 4 pages whereas the main content will be some 200 1000 pages also will be there so in this one in our textbooks index consists of two contents one is the topic and the corresponding page number here we have two things in are the two fields will be there in index file is one is the key value first field is the key value and second field is the block number okay we have two fields in the index file one is the key value and second one is the block number the key value will tells the record number which record you are searching record number 1 record number 2 record number 10 so on whereas block number will suggest me in which block the corresponding record is there okay so i hope or sometimes people will call me this one as a block pointer also okay so the block number will tell me suppose if i have record number 1 which is there in block number 1 record number 2 which is also there in the block number 1 record number 100 which is there in the block number some five so this will tell in which block the record is there okay so this is about indexing then what is the advantage of indexing is that we can we have a less number of block access suppose if i want to access any record now how many blocks we have to access if i have n blocks n blocks are there here i have n blocks which are in the sorted order because block number 1 block number 2 so on i have n number of blocks and the corresponding records will be there so if i want to access any record in the main file this is the main file in the main file if i want to access any record then how many blocks i need to access if i use the indexing concept if we does not use the indexing concept also we will discuss if we are using the indexing concept then i have to use log n base 2 first because i have n blocks so as they are in the sorted order i can apply the binary search if i apply the binary search the average number of block access is log n base 2 where n is the number of blocks so i will find the corresponding block and which record it is now i have to go to that one and i have to access the record so i will have one more block access because first i need to access these many blocks and let's take that i want to search for the record number 100 then it is there in the fifth block so i have to go for the fifth block and i have to access so log n base 2 plus 1 number of block access we have to do for searching a record if you are using the indexing concept okay i hope everyone has understand what is an indexing now we will discuss about basically we have two types of indexings 
and we have n number of types we have three type single level indexing multi level indexing in single level indexing primary indexing secondary indexing cluster indexing all these things are there but i am talking about two types of indexing based on how many blocks we are how many uh, for each record how many things we are how many access we are keeping in the index file based on that one i am classifying the indexing into two types one is dense indexing and the sparse indexing so first we will discuss about what is a dense indexing if an index entry in the index table if for a key value is there if an index entry is created for every such key value that indexing is called dense indexing what is the meaning is that let me read it again if an index entry is created for every such key value that indexing is called as dense indexing meaning is there if i, I have a main file in the main file if i have some let's take in this example i have 80 records for each such key value 80 records are there 80 such key values are there in my index file if i am creating the index file will consist of the key value and the block pointer bp is nothing but the block pointer or the block number if i am creating the index file for all the 80 records record number one record number two, record number three, like that if I am creating the entry for every record or every such key value, that kind of indexing we will call it as a dense indexing. So now tell me one thing, how many rows are there in the index file? The number of rows or the number of entries in the index file is equal to the number of records in the main file so there is no use of this kind of dancing but where it will be used if the main file is not all the records in the main file are not sorted then we will use the dense indexing we will use this dense indexing when the records in the file are not sorted then we will use the dense indexing so that time we have we will have the number of entries in the index file is equal to the number of records in the main file okay i hope you have understood what is a dense indexing now let me discuss about what is a sparse indexing in an index entry in an index entry is created for some such key values not for every for some such key values that indexing is called as sparse indexing I hope everyone has understood. In a dense indexing, we will create the index entry for all the such key values. Whereas in sparse indexing, if an index entry is created for some such key values, that index is called as sparse indexing. Meaning is that I will not create all the key values. Here, let's take a simple example. I have block 1, block 2, block 3, block 4. The main important thing in the sparse indexing is that all the records in the main file should be in the order or should be in the sorted order. Let's take this example. Record 1 to record 80. All the records are sorted order. Let's take that I have block number 1, block number 2, block number 3, block number 4 are there. So what I will do is that I will not create entries for all the records. I will create the entries for record number 1 which is there in the block number 1 record number 21 which is there in the block number 2 record number 41 which is there in the block number 3 record number 61 which is there in the block number 4 so here the number of entries in the index file is less than the number of records in the main file so where here this concept we call it as a sparse indexing where the number of entries are less then the number of records in the main file. So I hope everyone has understood what is a dense indexing and what is a sparse indexing. In the next video, we will discuss about the types of indexing. One is the single level indexing, multi-level indexing. In single level indexing, we will talk about primary indexing, uh, clustering indexing and secondary indexing. In multi-level indexing, we will talk about the B trees and B plus trees. Thank you.